Hey everyone, Bobby here from Bipper Media. Welcome to another episode of SEO Secrets. It is Friday afternoon, leaving the office, heading back to the house. It is hot down here in Athens, Georgia, and uh, I love it. I love the weather, but um, it is definitely it was hot yesterday. Today's another uh, hot day, and um, but I, again, I love it. Excited about summertime, but um, anyway. What I want to dive into very quickly here is one thing I'm realizing in Bipper Media uh, is is I'm finding my focus kind of shifting um, to to really just one specific thing and and this one thing that that we do extremely well, perhaps better than anything. You know, there's a lot that we do. We, we build websites, we manage AdWord campaigns, we do SEO, we do local SEO. Um, but, but the one thing that we excel at that really kind of encompasses all other things is what we refer to as site structure. Okay. And I know that's, that's, uh, maybe a term that's a term we use internally. Um, but it's something, it's a term that everybody is using more frequently. Word, I'm using it when I talk to clients. Our clients are using the term when they talk to us about what we're doing, site structure. Site structure, um, some, some characteristics of site structure is number one, optimizing your metadata, right? Um, your meta tag, your meta title, your meta description, image alt tags for a particular page, um, what is the what is the core topic or the core keyword phrase <clears throat> that that page is going to be optimized for, and then carrying on to the on-site content, things like the on-site H1, H2, H3 tags, the content, the length of the content, how in-depth the content is, um, carrying on from there, looking across your site. Um, do you have two, three, five, ten pages uh, published within your site that are arguably all about the same topic? And we shore up that content to one specific uh, page. And I've talked about it before, shoring it up to one page. Um, all of those things we refer to as site structure. And the reason I the reason I bring up that one thing is because at the end of the day, that one thing is ultimately what our clients expect and what they what they are paying us to move the, the, the needle on. Because if we do that one thing right, the site structuring right, that's when our clients go from nowhere to be found currently in Google or in search, nowhere to be found to dominating the top search results for high value, high impact keyword phrases. That's how our clients go from looking at local SEO and local productivity metrics. That's how our clients go from only getting four or five phone calls a month to getting 50 or 100 phone calls a month. It's it's all under the umbrella of site structure. Um, and But it, it gets a little more, you, you can tell I'm kind of, this, this is kind of a new thought. I'm very much at the front end and I'm just kind of sharing, sharing this with you, just kind of openly sharing stuff that, that we're talking about and thinking about. But um, site structure, when, when I talk about local productivity metrics, I'm really referring to local SEO, but local SEO, optimizing a Google My Business listing, citation distribution to build location authority, all of that is really structurally related type work, except now instead of doing actual site structure within a website, we're doing site structure work relative to your Google My Business listing, your citation distribution, and the integration of things like schema markup directly into your website. So it's, you know, it's a little obscure for me to think about to be to be putting all of these things that we do under one umbrella but I'm sharing it with you because it is a it is becoming a common theme to the way we describe um, what we do and how we add value and how we ultimately move the needle how we're moving the needle in tremendous ways for our clients for example we have this one client they're a billion plus dollar company um, they have 
multiple floors in the MetLife building at one Madison Avenue in New York City. So that kind of gives you an idea of the scale. I mean, they're they're enterprise corporate uh, corporate level, right? The work that we're doing for this client is when you boil it down, we're implementing site structure. So we're taking um, pages within their website, implementing high degree, uh, a lot of a lot of detail, a high degree of attention to detail, and we're implementing site structure. These pages are going literally from nowhere to be found, and sometimes in seven days or less, they are just skyrocketing up to the number one, the number two, worst case scenario, number three position in um, in organic search. And, you know, not only is it just amazing to see what just simply implementing site structure, bringing structure to a high degree of structure to these pages relative to a particular topic or keyword phrase, watching it shoot to the top of search results, that's one thing, but then seeing the impact on their organic search traffic and then hearing the impact on their business. Guys, we're talking about billion dollar company. Uh, We're talking about a billion dollar plus company. I don't know what their revenue is, but it's definitely more than a billion dollars in their, in their entire company. And you know, that is just huge. And to be able to have that impact is is tremendously um, satisfying to us. It's why we do what we do to help really all, no matter how big or how small our clients are, that's ultimately why we do what we do is to help our clients be successful like that. But I can really put all of all of the things that we're doing for them under that umbrella of site structure. So um, I plan on talking a whole lot more about it as I go forward. Um, it's really becoming a very strong theme um, becoming a really strong conviction in my mind of what we do. And, um, it's just like the more I think about it and the more I talk about it, the more organized it gets in my head and it's helping me to talk a little bit easier about it. And hopefully, hopefully here on the podcast and if you follow Bipper Media on social media and our YouTube and, um, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. Um, I'm, I'm going to be talking a lot more. I'm already talking about it on those channels. So, um, Anyway, stay tuned. Uh, I realize I'm a little bit all over the place on this episode, but um, just feeling really passionate about the one thing um, that we do extremely well. And and I also think it really kind of spills over into your business or the things that you do. Um, you, you know, uh, the things that you're, whether you, you work for a company or you run a company or you're starting a company, um, you know, the more that you can focus on that one thing that you do extremely well, not the 10 things. If you do the 10 things, it kind of dilutes your brand, if you will. But if you become known as a specialist and an expert in that one thing, you know, I, I believe we're experiencing it. You can see a 10 X, a hundred X growth in your business in your brand, in your brand relevance, your brand authority, you will just see explosive growth from it because that's what we're seeing. And, and it's becoming a, a big topic in my mind because I know what it's a result of. I know it's the result of us focusing more and more on this one thing. So anyway, um, you know, stay tuned, you know, find Bipper Media on social media. We're, we're all over uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, of course, this podcast. Um, stay tuned. Uh, we're on YouTube. You know, follow us. Be, you, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to be sharing a lot more about this stuff. And um, so thanks for listening and we'll talk to you.